Very good. Um, would you say you like the way your car looks? Oh, I don't have one. I um, used to your have favorite a car. Oh, yes. Your I favorite do. car. Very much so. How about the way it feels? Do you like the way it feels when you're driving it? Yes. Um, and, of course, you like you liked it more when it was working properly, right? Yes, of course. What I'm trying to get across here. here <gasps> congratulations. Yay! What I'm trying to get across here that, that there's a desire to sort of separate the aesthetic and the look and the feel and the usability stuff, put that over in a box over here, and we concentrate on making our software work as soon as possible, as fast as we can get it done. But those things need to start to move back together for us to be more competitive in today's world. 3 points I want to cover are when a company values the input of the design team and the design ideas for the end customer, it's good for the customers themselves. Hopefully it will make their product experience easier, more pleasant to look at, easier to understand and move through and use our stuff more. And in our, in our case, in our particular case, we have uh, transactions where they, they use it more, we get more money. So that's a good thing too. Um, it's also good for our business because it can help us um, keep ahead of the Joneses and try to catch up where we need to by making sure that what we're building is really what the customer wants. And sometimes we have to be a little bit more predictive than we are. And uh, we have a tendency at our company to want to put the design on after we're done. And it really should kind of be the other way around. Steve Jobs himself said, well, you really have to figure out what the customer experience that you want to have is, and then you work backwards into the engineering. And I don't know if you can do that every time, but I think we should place more weight on it. And the third set of benefits that I want to really nail home to uh, my particular audience is the, uh, the benefits to the engineers themselves. And um, not only does it help them help the customer and help the company, which is good, it helps make the engineer's contribution much more tangible to everybody else that's a, that doesn't understand the engineering. So the people that are paying us are probably not engineers. Your boss might be an engineer, but as we move up the ladder, the people that are paying us are not software engineers. They're customers. They're purchasing people. They're trying to solve problems, and to a certain degree, they don't really understand and recognize the hard work that goes into a product or a service. As, the, as you said, the story about the guy that rolled in the server, that's the heart of our company. It doesn't have a face. And for, com for today's customers to really buy in, they need to see what that face is, to feel comfortable, to trust it. And that's where good design comes into play. So um, the big, amongst the other benefits that the engineers get, is they can have their work be tangibly understood and recognized for the hard work that they do, where in many cases, people at work don't really know what they do unless it's other engineers. And if their work starts getting kudos and accolades, their peers will come to see what they're working on as well. So in summary, I want to make sure to try and get as many people at work to understand that we need to place more value on good design to take care of our customers and enjoy all the other rewards that I have spoken to about here. Thank you.